The new patch for Star Citizen Alpha 3.19 hit the PTU-40 Evil Kadi, and of course it's been leaked. Big shout out to the Pipeline Discord channel for revealing these leaks. So right now for this patch, I believe it's the uh, probably the C patch. And uh, the testing focus for this one says, for the purpose of the new player experience testing today, please turn back on the hint system if you have it turned off. General stability, Lorville Skyline 2.0, salvage contract missions, tractor beam tier 0.5, item attaching and detaching, mining balance version 1, new player experience, and the mission density management. There's a lot of known issues, but I'm not going to list these because most likely these will be resolved by the time we get our hands on it in the PTU. When it comes to new features under the category of gameplay, they have the new player experience. It says the initiative for improving the initial first 30 minute gameplay experience, which will help players understand the context of the world and introduce them to some of the Star Citizen basic features. This update focuses on the experience in Area 18 and Virginia Point. As players enter the main menu to join the universe, they will be prompted with the options to join a normal or a set the new, the new player experience mission change, which will set their spawn point to area 18 and begin the walkthrough. Being the new player experience, we're going to leave the details off to, to give you all the experience of doing this as close to new player as possible without information. There are a few bugs with the mission such as some of the elevators not processing the mission or when crashing or leaving the game during the mission will make it unavailable again until you recopy your account. Before we move forward, I'd like to do people to know that we're doing a giveaway for an LTI Great Cat STV. In order to participate, all you gotta do is subscribe and leave a comment in any video between the month of April. Let's move on with the rest of the video. When it comes to feature updates under the location category, they've done a polished pass on the Lorville No Fly Zone. They've added volumetric atmosphere and clouds to Art Corp. We've been waiting for that for a long time, so this is good news. And they've done a performance polish past two atmospheres and clouds. When it comes to the gameplay, it says fixed issues with attractive beams, rotational vertices, and acceleration. Salvage markers improvement, spawning trespass areas on first ship spawned, merging ships in a single objective before launching damage tracker to have progress bar in lawless, disabling power interaction on all salvage ships, additional fixes to help travel to salvage objective, added a progress bar to the lawless contract, fixed travel salvage objective completing before getting there, changed completion percentage from 90 to 80% for easy and medium contracts, removed arrow from the list of salvageable ships, gave unlawful salvage contracts a resource tag to limit the amount of spawns per location and avoid clutter, removed small ships from lawless contracts and modified to several different ships. Updated the density manager system so that the mission entities and things dropped by missions such as corpse, guns, and debris will be cleaned up when the area is streamed out. As we reuse the mission locations such as underground facilities, the location will be cleaned up of all mission items when the area is streamed out while player dropped things remain as usual. They've temporarily removed the Orison FPS mission for 319. When it comes to ships and vehicles, they've added the Corsair, Cutter, and the CRA Pisces to the game shop. When it comes to bug fixes, they fixed an issue where players do not receive a trespass warning when entering an unlawful salvage mission area. Pressure too high for a minor world explosion that's been fixed. Client or display server frame rate shows a constant 0 FPS despite uh, GIM displayed otherwise. That's been fixed. It's possible to infinitely convert empty RMC canisters into full RMC canisters. Man, that's a that's really good uh, bug right there. Ship component lock status is not persistent. That's been fixed. Um, when it comes to VMA, saved empty vehicle loadout slots are replaced with stock components on claim. They fixed that issue. When it comes to shopping, store kiosks will populate locations if certain ships stored. Next it says players will not get teleported to the safe zone after exiting the ship in a restricted area. 
Global smoothing is not saving. That's also been fixed. Cargo boxes cannot be moved after being placed on cargo grid. That's been fixed. ASAP showing constellation as PH rare docking. That's been fixed. The ship traveling along the highways in area 18 point upright as they move. That's been fixed. Claimed and delivered ship load into wrong location when primary residence is changed. That's been fixed. They fixed an issue where players on the same party shooting at each other trigger global hostility instead of between each other. That's been fixed. They fixed the rotation speed on the multi tool for detach mode. In addition, under technical, they have five client crashes that's been fixed and five server crashes that's been fixed. You already know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.